Should I speak about the benefits of automation? Aren't they obvious for everyone? Isn't more convincing to show them in a practical example? Or maybe I should let you experience them by yourself. Let's imagine you have a design and for some reason you want to check it and visualize its component without opening Katia. Or you want to make a quick presentation for a client who doesn't know or have Katia. In these scenarios, automation is your best ally. All you need is to copy and paste the path to that folder, indicate the number of pictures, and then sit back and watch the machine do the job. I originally made this macro to use it as an exercise for the training. But then I thought, why not to use it as a promotion to the training itself? Yes, I encourage you to learn and join me in the training. And as a little push, I will give you this macro to experience what you will be capable of in the future. You might think, why should I pay for learning when I can get the information for free? Let me ask you this. Why do people pay for the gym when they can practice outdoor for free? Isn't for time? Isn't for the engagement? Isn't for the quality and depth of learning and the methodology? Isn't for the interactivity? I understand. The majority doesn't require and need these benefits, but at least keep them in mind. And we have finished the pictures. Let's check them. We have two pictures for each component. And as you can see, automation generates fast and standard results with no mistakes. I think all these pictures are enough to evaluate and present the design without opening Katia. Not only that, here in this folder, I have just one file, an assembly. And I will pass its path. And now I will ask for 20 pictures. But you will open the assembly and make 20 pictures around the assembly. Here are the pictures. Then I will open them with GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editor. You may ask, why do we need GIMP? We will use GIMP to generate a light and quick animation. I will show you how. Then we go to filters, animation, optimize for GIF. And finally, we export the file as a GIF. As a GIF. Let's keep the parameters as they are. Good, let's check the result. I will open GIF with a Chrome. And here is our animation. Light and quick animation. And we can do even more. We can develop the macro to translate the view and to displace and transform the components if you want. Okay, we can do all this just with a simple macro. So let me show you the macro from inside. So here are the lines of the macros of the macro. The first lines are to get the folder and test if it exists or not. Then we get the number of pictures and create a specific folder for them. Then Katia opens each file hides unnecessary elements of the view, activate the full screen, and recolors the background with white. And depending on the number of views, rotations will be made 
and screenshots will be taken. And finally, Katia sets back the view as it was. And here is my gift. You can get this model for free by sending me a message or an email, but don't forget to indicate this title, okay? At the end of the training, I expect you to develop codes like these and even more. And remember this, online research is very useful to complete the puzzle of knowledge, but it's not the same as building knowledge from scratch. Ask those who have tried. Thank you.